The research project Echo Orchard, funded by the European Funding Programme for Organic Agriculture, Core Organic Plus, tackles the topic of functional agrobiodiversity in organic orchards. Functional agrobiodiversity refers to the interplay of different organisms in an agroecosystem, which should be useful for humans and constitutes a big potential for agriculture. The project is carried out by the Working Group for Organic Farming of the Limeberg Research Centre, together with renowned international partner institutes. Limeberg Research Centre, established in 1975, aims at supporting the South Tyrolean agriculture and at strengthening its competitiveness in the market. Today, the Research Centre is the leading research institution, covering the large spectrum of agricultural topics in South Tyrol. The Research Centre employs approximately 150 employees dedicated to over 300 different research projects, such as the project Echo Orchard and other activities per year. The project Echo Orchard started in spring 2015 with the establishment of 60 centimetres wide grass-free flower strips within the alleys of two study orchards. In these strips, a seed mixture of multi-annual herbs and grasses was sown. These plants were especially developed for fruit growing and are supposed to attract and provide habitat to beneficial organisms. In order to maintain the alleys accessible by vehicles at any time, the flower strips were kept relatively narrow. Two additional orchards, in which mulch was used to manage ground cover vegetation, a common practice in any conventional orchard, acted as control. The study aimed at investigating the effects of flower strips on the occurrence of pests such as the woolly apple aphid and the codling moth and their natural antagonists. Furthermore, to investigate the possibility of developing seed mixtures tailored to different locations, the performance of two different flower strip seed mixtures is evaluated in a second experiment. The seed mixtures consist of seeds of approximately 30 different spontaneous flowering plant species, such as caraway, oxeye daisy, red campion, red clover, wild geranium and many more. These plant species were especially selected in order to ensure a long-lasting and continuous availability of flowers in full bloom. In addition, these species could also get established within the flower strip over several years and therefore do not require re-sowing every year. The aim of sowing flower strips is to provide a more suitable habitat to these beneficial organisms. Ladybirds, hoverfly larvae and spiders are voracious predators of several pests and are therefore important beneficial organisms in the orchard ecosystem. The aim of the experiments is to improve the control of two target pests, the woolly apple aphid and the codling moth. The woolly apple aphid represents one of the main pests in apple cultivation. It causes damage to leaves and shoots, which are important for the plant photosynthesis. Woolly apple aphid infestations may also result in a delay in fruit development. At the moment, in both integrated and organic farming systems, it is necessary to apply plant protection products against this pest. To avoid bias and prevent distorted trial results, we decided not to apply any insecticide in our experiments. Plant protection products are applied only for the control of apple scab and powdery mildew and only products which are allowed in organic farming are used. 
The second target pest is the codling moth, the proverbial worm in the apple. The damage is caused by larvae feeding on and boring into fruits, thus rendering them unmarketable. One of the most important and at the same time easiest methods is visual inspection. This method does not require the use of any additional material, just the ability to recognize the different species. Single plant parts are inspected closely and the beneficial arthropods and pests present are counted. Visual inspections are carried out in different vegetative stages of the crop during flowering, after flowering and during summer. Another method is the non-destructive beating method. Parts of the plant are beaten with a wooden stick. The organisms fall through a funnel opening into a funnel trap and are later counted and identified. Corrugated cardboard band traps are used to determine codling moth infestation levels. In this case, a band of corrugated cardboard is wrapped around the tree trunk, where it is left for a few weeks. These corrugated cardboard bands are then removed, and the number of larvae within the cardboard bands is counted. At harvest, all fruits present on individual trees are harvested separately, counted and weighted. At transfer into storage, the fruits are then examined for the presence of different types of damage, such as feeding damage caused by codling moth and other insects, fungal infections, physiological disorders and other. This is done in order to obtain an as complete as possible picture of the quality and quantity of fruits. Several times a year and on fixed dates, the occurrence, cover ratio and flowering state of the plant species sown in the flower strips and of those present in the control plots is assessed on a previously selected area of 1.2 square meters in size. The development of the different plant species within the flower strips and the control plots is followed over several years. Echo Orchard does not merely aim at evaluating the effects of flower strips. In addition, through especially designed workshops and surveys, it seeks further practicable options to improve functional biodiversity in organic orchards and to make the future of fruit growing more sustainable.